G'day guys, what's cracking? It's your boy Two Aussie here again. So, I've got a craving for a pizza. I've been having too many burgers lately and you guys know that. <laughs> so, here's the deal. We're heading in to Lawson Pizza and Kebab. Now, I've been to these guys before and we got a snack pack a little while ago. It was a pretty decent snack pack. And we're going to we're gonna go and test out their pizzas this time. I'm going to go in there and grab a meat lovers. Now, hey, there is only one size so we don't know how many inches this is, but we all know size does matter. So guys, 17 bucks for this pizza. So I'm going to get a meat lovers with tomato base and I might even get some jalapenos. Now that's a sweet combination. If you like your spicy stuff and you've never tried it before, give that a crack. It's tomato base, meat lovers with jalapenos. Now it's probably going to cost me an extra dollar for the jalapenos, but it should be well worth it. And also, something we haven't done for a while, we've got a little mystery beverageino in our 4 and 20. We're already paying 17 or 18 bucks for a pizza. I thought I've had a couple of drinks in the fridge. Uh, it'd be a great opportunity to test out our mystery drink. Something that's been around for a while probably, but I haven't tried it. So guys, I'm going to head in to Lawson Pizza and grab this Meat Lovers Pizza. And I'll circle back to you with the goods. Let's get it. All right, let's get this party started. The old tree. Now, as per usual, well, not always as per usual, but most of the times when I do these sort of things, I haven't checked it. So, guys, we're gonna share that moment together. You know how I love to do that with you. Having said that, let me say this: he did say that with jalapeno, so I'm, it should be on there. He did say tomato base, so I didn't really feel the urge to check it. I trust them. Check it out. And there it is guys our meat lovers pizza with tomato base and jalapenos we can totally eat to our now i reckon just before we start we got to give this guy a little bit of a measurement because i got no idea how much they measure let's get the old tape measure out and check it out now there's no denying it does look like a pretty decent size Let's just give it a little shaky shaky, get it off the edge there. We want this to be pretty accurate now. One foot, which is 12 inches. I was expecting 13, but you know what? 12 is pretty good. 12, 12 inches, $17 pizza. Can't complain too much about that from a place that isn't Domino's or Pizza Hut. So guys, I reckon without further ado, we should give it a red hook crack. I can't wait to wrap my laughing gear around this one. One thing I can say, it has been cut pretty evenly. Normally you got one big piece, one small piece. We'll grab a few loaded jalapeno pieces, about five on there. Bloody hell. It's about to get real. Wow. My mouth's already on fire. <laughs> I must have bitten oh, about two or three jalapenos then. But it is very cool. And very swag. I like it. Now, cooked to perfection on the bottom, as you can see. This is a winner, this one. Now, what's on this? Phantasmagorical pizza, because it is phantasmagorical. I am McLovin' it. We got ham. We got cabanozzi. We got a pepperoni. And, what was the other thing? A bacon. Tomato base. It's a winner. Now the pizza itself, it's their traditional, meat lovers usually are, traditional pizza, traditional pizza, 17 bucks, they did charge me an extra dollar for the jalapenos, but I wasn't expecting anything for nothing, and they put a decent amount of jalapenos on, looks pretty good, gives a nice little 
break up of the colours of all the redness and meatness. So, uh, top pizza. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. Minus the jalapenos, 17 bucks. So with the jalapenos, an extra dollar. So let me know what you think about that pizza for $17 as a traditional. Supreme was the same, 17 bucks. Veggie, they had a couple there. And then if they go, if you go to their gourmet, which I don't know what they were, but they're on the, I found them on Google. So they had a little uh, menu there and Gourmet was only a dollar more, which would have been the same size. I only said one size. Um, and it was a dollar more, but for gourmet, you'd think you'd get a, it'd cost a bit more. Then if you want seafood, it was 20 bucks. So 17 bucks for the traditional. I'm impressed. Now, this Meat Lovers Pizza from Lawson Pizza and Kebab. What would I rate it? I would rate it for value. Now, we know a lot of these pizza shops are over $17. Now, like I said, I got extra on it, so that's why it was 18 For $17, we'll just take it as that, without these extra bits on it, without the extras. Um, I would give it probably a four and a half stars out of five for value, considering what it is, where it is, and it is what it is. All the users. Um, I'm impressed. Pro probably the average sort of size of most pizza and kebab places. Now for taste. I'm going to rate this twice because if you don't have a good tomato base, a tomato sauce base, it ain't going to taste like anything. It'll be trash. But this is a total winner. Their tomato base is on point. Decent amount of meat on it. So... But without the extra jalapenos on it, I'm going to give it four and three quarter stars out of five for taste. But with the jalapenos, it really does hit in such a good way. And I'm giving it its lit. I'm loving it. I'm giving it five stars out of five for taste with them on it. Cooked to perfection. It just doesn't get any better than this. Oh my Buddha. All right, we're back, baby. Sorry, guys, I had to um, change locations. I got a little learner there trying to get between me and another car. It ain't happening. <laughs> trying to practice learning so they can get stuffed. And there we go, our little Beveragino. <laughs> She's still over there trying. I moved my car because I don't want to get smashed. Today's Beveragino is V Energy, V Blue. Now, what is it? So what's a little spill? Blue, crack open a can of motivation. You got this. You know it, girlfriend. Today, because we got a 500 mil drinky poo, we got the humongous glass. Say good day to Hugh. Let's crack it open. I reckon it will be blue. So as I said earlier, my first tr time trying this one. Let's give it a crack and give it a big swig. Ah, it's not blue. Will it fit in this glass? Look at the head on that. My goodness. So just the standard energy drink colour. Looks cool though. Ghibli. You don't usually see me drink that much at once, but this pizza is hot stuff. Guys, I'm loving that. V. I haven't had these very often. This one, blue, total winner. What makes it so good? Just Garana energy drink. Probably got some Eats Way ingredients, but that's a winner. I love it. Another Eats Lit. I'm loving it. I'm giving it five stars out of five. Now, what I didn't tell you was I bought it at Woolworths for four bucks a couple of weeks ago. I don't think it was on special, but that's not a great price for Woolworths. I'll give that about a three and a half stars out of five. 
So guys, I'm going to get back to this pizza. It was a winner today. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let's put that there because it's not easy to bounce. We'll get this pizza back in the picture just for a minute. Because I know you love to see it. That's what you're here for. So try that, guys. Doesn't matter. Of course, you're not probably not going to get to Lawson pizza and kebab. But try that combo. If you like your tomato, meat lovers. I like barbecue, but if you ask me which one would I prefer, that's the tomato. I love it. Especially a good tomato base. It's got good flavor. Try that out, guys. Tomato base, meat lovers with jalapenos. Good stuff. So, I got a bounce. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Hooroo. Stay fresh.